Yo guys, how are you doing? It's Jaff Master Flash. Welcome to BRS Round 2. We are at Monza, as you can see. And yeah, it was um we it was okay qualifying. It going to Q3. Um I didn't seem to have any issues. Obviously it would have loved to have gone a little bit faster, but we were so close to the, the tier is or the series is so close um, with all the drivers it was inevitable that we were all going to be tripping over each other and obviously some only one person can start P1 and so on and so forth as everybody knows <clears throat> going into the first Lesmo dropped a lot of time uh, on the entry coming up into the second Lesmo um, gained a little bit back it's a bit strange like this was Q3 was definitely my worst, uh, worst qualifying of the session. Um, it was just a bit bizarre how I couldn't seem to get it right. Uh, made a li little bit of time up coming through Ascari. Um, Ascari is normally the place where I get really caught out, or I, especially the last time I raced at Monza um, in the Parabolica. And I knew there was some time left on the table. I took too much of the inside curb. If I hadn't have taken it too much of the inside curb, I definitely would have been at least a tenth and a half and possibly um, P5 on the grid. But it is what it is. Five red lights. We are out. Um, so obviously starting P7. Didn't have the, the best to start. Didn't have the best to get away. Um, Wavy's behind me. I'm, I'm just more concerned about not hit in the back of my teammate but you can see my teammate he was um jostling in it, it, his connection or whether it was his connection or what and i did not want to hit the back of him and get wing damage hence the reason now i'm down in p9 instead of uh p7 where i started but that's okay it, it is what it is um obviously a race isn't won on lap one turn one so i'm just happy just chilling all back of the bus um I'm waiting for the opportunity. It's Monza. Uh, it's a high-speed, low-drag circuit with the help of DRS uh, after lap three down the main back straight. It'll be absolutely fine. Everything will be all good in the hood. So, yeah, it was a crazy 10 laps, 12 laps maybe, um, and then it was kind of a... A dead race thereafter. You'll see why. Keep watching. You will absolutely see. Uh, things happen. Stuff happens. Crazy stuff happens. And how... <laughs> it's strange. You, let, you need to keep watching. Because... Um, I absolutely massively avoid one collision. Then avoid another. And then get tagged by a third collision. And out of the three... It was the weakest of the collisions that tagged me, as Ryan R um, brings out the VSC. Uh, not too sure where it will happen, but he brought out the VSC nevertheless. And we were away again, so that was lap two. You'll see what I'm talking about <clears throat> in a little while. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a bizarre race. The pace was great. I had really good pace. Uh, was really on it yesterday felt really good um was trying to make up amends for the poor show i had in nxr which that's um that's a whole another level of bizarre but that is for another day um, but yeah back to monza like i said i was trying to make up for lost ground um i dnf'd last week uh in the opening of the season and that was solely due, due to my wheel. Uh, coming out of turn 13 last week, um, throttle went full and the car punched myself into a wall when it shouldn't, shouldn't have happened. Um, but I, for those of you who don't know, I'm still rocking the dodgy wheel and there's not a lot I can do about it. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. A new wheel is on the horizon. Um, it's closer than it is further away. So yeah, just things are gonna take a little bit of time. But I'm on the back of Adel. I'm happy. Wheel feels kind of okay today. 
haven't made too many mistakes. Yes, it's only lap three, but by now I'm normally a little bit flustered and whatnot. There's normally pressure from behind, and that was a stupid warning to get. Absolute stupid warning to get. Should never have cut the corner that bad. It was always going to be uh, a warning for track limits. Um, I seem to. Okay. I seem to be picking up a lot of penalties lately, which is something that never happened, or shouldn't happen. Um, even though three seconds, three seconds can make all the difference, especially when it, it costs positions. Uh, it, it's just a nightmare. It's just silly. It shouldn't happen. So, on the start lap four, I'm not too sure what is going on up front, um, as my ex teammate. CD, he's having a really good race, he's in a party with us. So is Zlatanovsky, Kachiga, and Alep Gamer. We're all chilling, we're all vibing, we're all racing apart from Kachiga. Unfortunately, he um, went out under the VSC, or no, he's still in at this point, he goes out later on under the VS, under the safety car because cold tyres, trying to warm up his tyres, and the car just snaps and takes him away. Right now, uh, Adel is trying uh, to get away from me. Uh, I'm not going to let that happen. Never in a million years. Because if that happens, um, kind of done for. As I had a massive slide, a massive snap of oversteer coming through Ascari. And that does take me out of um, the DRS. He managed to achieve what I didn't want him to do, which was through you know my own fault. Um, it was difficult because I had to catch the car, but I know for a fact they're still battling up the front, and I need to deplete all my ERS to get back within that DRS because otherwise, uh, with Rue Master behind me, right on my tail, it's only going to be a matter of time before he overtakes me because DRS is so powerful around here, especially down the long back straight. Um, but it's all good, as you can see, I'm back within uh, DRS of now Wavy, uh, and I'm just hoping to follow him, get a little bit closer to him. Uh, I, I did notice uh, both Adel and Wavy flashing briefly, uh, meaning they depleted their ERS. And then coming up, Les, is it right here? Coming up, no, it's next lap. Um, so yeah, coming out of Lesbo 2, or Lesmo 2, rather. Um, just vibing, just chilling, uh, hoping that I don't make the same mistake again coming out of uh, Parabolic, out of Ascari. I always keep getting them mixed up. Parabolic is the last corner of the map, of the circuit. Always keep saying the difference, you know, getting them both mixed up. And that's just a schoolboy error, shouldn't happen. But no. Like I said, it's just vibing, it's just chill. That's what we're all doing. We're all um, just having a really good race up to now. Um, it's kind of a dead race. It doesn't seem to be a lot happening. Um, as Wavy is looking uh, to make a move on Adel. Um, but you can see from turn one just how bunched up everybody is. And if an accident was to happen right now, it could be catastrophic. And I'm almost certain it's about to happen. So going into the uh, second chicane, everybody is really tight. You can see Adel is right on the back of Alpha, um, putting him under immense pressure. Going into Lesmo one, uh, everybody seems to be good. Everybody seems to be vibing. Going into Lesbo, Lesmo two, and Alpha goes massively wide um, and spins. I had to take avoiding action against Wavy, otherwise it would have rear-ended him, and that allowed Rue. Uh, master to get by which right place right time or for for Rue um, for me wrong place wrong time so I had to really slow down uh, to avoid what was going to happen next um, it was just nuts just absolutely nuts didn't see or didn't know if Alper just ran wide himself uh, I didn't know if um, but I just didn't know what happened didn't know I still don't know what happened, but it was it was just a, a, a mad chain of events because, as you can see, it was a. He would, I think he would stopped 
uh, on track and then uh, is off again um, as I just said my teammate is in the pits as Eli then crashes out and brings out the first safety car um, which is kind of annoying really because it allowed everybody to beat me in the pits um, obviously I pitted for medium tyres I was going to take these then all the way to the end so we get going again um, I'm behind Adel uh, as Rue managed to jump up two spots um, and we hope to get the race going again and like I say it started th you, you could have, have a sense that things were starting to go crazy so I missed the Alpa issue I missed that issue and wait until you see the thing that absolutely the, the one that takes me out which is bizarre absolutely bizarre um, <laughs> it really is it really is nuts how I can miss Alpa and Wavy uh, I can miss um, Zlat, Edel and, every, and everybody else that was going into turn one but the thing that catches me, just, just so frustrating. And to be fair, there's not a lot I could have not not a lot more I could have done. It really wasn't. So that brought out the safety car. My teammate retiring. Um, as you can see, uh, everybody the safety car is coming in. Everybody is bunching up the field, um, and everybody's just trying to warm up the tires. And I believe the issue that happened at turn one, which is coming up very shortly, all stems from Ascari, just back there, um, where everybody had slowed down uh, massively, obviously, to let the safety car go. You'll see why, you'll see what happens now as well. So, as you can see, uh, we come around this corner, we're on the parabolic, everybody looks like they're starting to go, uh, and then they slow down. That bunches six of us up, so the top six. We are all bunched at this point. We're all, as you can see, I'm within three tenths, two and a half tenths of my team, of my ex-teammate CD. Going into T1, that's the thing that catches me and gives me wing damage. And I mean, incredibly bad wing damage. You can see it's orange, it's yellow. It, you know, it, I can't continue my race like that. I really can't. Um, And that's where I get extremely, um, which is where the frustration comes from. I have seen the clip over and over again. Um, I believe I know who's at fault for it, and it wasn't the car in front of me. I'm not gonna, I haven't even spoken to the person, I'm not even gonna say whose fault it was. Um, yeah. The, the, I'm not even putting the clip in. There is no point in me putting the clip in because um, it doesn't gain me anything. Because after uh, this point, it kind of becomes a dead race for me. Um, I was contemplating retiring, but the fact that we'd already had two safety cars, if we get a safety car right now or, or after this pit, um, well back within with it with the shot. Uh, But yeah, does the safety car come? It doesn't, unfortunately. So from here on out, it's kind of a dead race, um, a frustrating race, a really frustrating race. But that's league racing. It just seems to be, I, I, I just can't understand um, my luck sometimes. I really can't. Uh, you know, to avoid Alpa uh, at Lesmo one, uh, Lesmo two, to avoid. Um, a good friend of mine, Zlatanovsky, at T1 and Edel, um, to then be tagged by a car going into a car, into a car, into a car. It's just league racing. That's exactly what it is. It's league racing. But it is what it is. I'm at that point now where. It's not that I no longer care. Um, I'm past um, past caring. 
and the reason why is I, I'm just so done with F1 2021. And by that, I mean league racing on F1 2021 as... I say it, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. League racing is about 70% skill and 30% luck. Probably a little bit more, if being honest. Um, and right now, I don't get any luck. Don't get a shred of luck. If it could go wrong, it does go wrong. Um, but then others might say you make your own luck. It doesn't appear to be happening for me. Or it hasn't happened for me since I won my WR title. So I'm wondering if that is a bit of a curse. I wonder if that subconsciously sent me into a bit of a false um, in, into a bit of a falsehood I'm not too sure but since then I have I've really struggled really really struggled um, and even when you know I have really good qualifying sessions um, and qualifying has, has always been an Achilles heel of mine it just seems that since then uh, nothing that seemed to have gone right um, whether it's my wheel spinning me out, whether it's crashing into someone or um, somebody crashing into me, or just don't know, just can't put my finger on it. But as for, excuse me, as for 2021, I'm, I'm just about done. I'm just about done with it. But as I said, uh, the only solace, uh, the only saving grace that I take from this is that I believe if a safety car did come out um, I would have been in the mix um, so would have so CD would have been in the mix um, as you can see Gregor's right now is 24.4 seconds in front um, on lap 17 and I think I get the gap down to about five seconds um, by the end of lap 27 so in 10 laps I take 19 seconds out of him um, so I know I had the pace around here and, and that's the bit that hurts the most because uh, I think if a safety car had come back out I think I would have had um, enough pace to get into the points fortunately though today wasn't the day it wasn't going to happen um, just an unfortunate chain of events how you can miss two crashes that were big ones uh, and then get caught by a little one just it is what it is but what I am going to try and do right now is try and steal steal away the fastest lap from uh, my teammate C or my ex teammate I keep calling him my teammate he's not he's my ex teammate um, as he didn't want to play anymore bless him <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and steal away the fastest lap as he punches in the next fastest lap so across the line and I managed to get it but he was fastest in sector 1 and sector 3 so I'm going to try uh, deplete all my ERS and try and go again try and pinch it from him properly this time uh, which is which is nice which was good um, a little bit of friendly rivalry goes a long way but guys wherever you are in the world today I hope you're good I hope you're well uh, this has been uh, round 2 yes Round two of uh, BRS at Monza. Um, next up, it is Baku, Baku City Circuit. Looking forward to that one. Uh, not raced it um, this season. Uh, I think we have raced it in season two of BRS, um, but unfortunately, I was wasn't there. I was a bit. I was away uh, when that race came around. So yeah, it'll be my first time competing at Baku next week and I like it I like I like Baku, uh, Baku circuit it's really good guys remember to do all that good stuff like hit that like button hit that subscribe button I'll leave you with the rest of the vid um, and yeah take care catch you in the next one peace
six seconds.
rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. Thank you.